Okay. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah. This is 445 Designs. If you like furniture makeovers, you're in the right place. If you like watching people give it a go, you're in the right place. If you want to tag along, hit that subscribe button. I am excited about this challenge because I get to do it with my friend Amy over on Flip Furniture. We are going to be using Dixie Bell products. I got to open a mystery box. Here it is. Honestly, at this point, guys, I have no idea how it's going to go. You are going to be experiencing it along with me. Amy is a gem, but you guys all already know that. So, Amy, good luck. I can't wait to see your video and what you do. These products, these colors, right, are out of my comfort zone. Sometimes I like being out of my comfort zone, <laughs> sometimes not. Uh, but I'm pretty excited about doing this to this desk, which, by the way, was given to me by a subscriber. Hi, Leslie. Thank you so much. I hope I do you proud. Let's get into it. Okay. Procrastinated long enough. Also known as cleaned it, fixed bits on it that needed fixing. There was nothing major. You guys have seen me fix stuff before and clean stuff before, so I figured let's do something different. All right, I will be getting to the colors yeah. that they want us to use in the mystery box. But first, I'm going to lay down a base coat of buttercream, which is, as the name suggests, a really pretty cream color. Nice damp brush, not wet. Not only am I doing a base coat in the buttercream, but I'm also going to use the sea spray. I'm going to give it some texture. I'm going to let that dry completely, come back in, and we're going to start with our next layer. Righty-o. It is dry. My first color is this guy, Dixie Belle Blue. Everywhere that you see cream is going to have a layer of this. It's not going to be perfect. I'm looking for a vintage... Where's my brush? Why? Why? I had a Dixie Belle Mini around here somewhere. Has anyone seen it? Anyone? There's them around. Right, so I'll be using Dixie Belle Mini. It's a two inch. I'm gonna spray my brush and the camera. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I watched Jodie over on Decora's Vintage Design. I watch Kristana over on Bella Renovai. I even watch the Purple Posy, how they do it. Everything is all a process. You just got to hold on for the ride and keep layering until you like it. And if you don't like it, then you change it. I am liking the way it's feeling and looking so far. It's super chunky. 
And again, this is just layer. This is layer number two. We're gonna get to layer number three uh, once this all dries. So let's keep going. I panic, right? That I don't know what I'm doing, that I'm gonna balls it up and I'm gonna turn it into a piece of garbage and I'll end up having to throw it away. Or no. Okay, that's extreme, Sarah. <laughs> let's not be so dramatic. Maybe not even going that far, right? I'm just afraid that I'm going to stuff it up. I just want to do a really good job for myself. And I'm, yeah, I just want to do a really good job and I want it to look good and I want to get it from here onto here. And sometimes I'm not 100% sure that I can do it in the, the right way or what I think is going to look like in my head. Okay. Next layer. I've hardly got any on there at all. So how do you fix some parts that you feel like you were heavy handed on? Dry brushing, Dixie Belle glue on my brush and I've wiped it, wiped it, wiped it off and just ever so light handed, right? I'm going to brush over any parts I was really heavy handed on, dabbing in the lid and then sort of brushing it off. I have coffee beans. Going to create a wash out of the paint, eyeballing it as I always do. I just want to tone down the pinks and the blue ever so slightly have the mini Dixie Bell mini and a rag and my little wash putting a little bit on <laughs> and we'll see how it goes here we go ah! it's going for it I guess and I think adding coffee bean over the top of it in a wash form is going to do that. So. <laughs> it definitely gives ages it and gives it a darker rustic look. I don't know if it's what I'm looking for. Okay, hold on. I've worked it out. I put the wash on and then basically I just 
spray it and wipe it off until I like it. So it's not such a bright blue. See? Here, where are we? Here is without, there is with. Transfer. It's going to cover up most of what's happening back in there <laughs> and on the side. What I want to do first is just peel off part of this backing and stick it down. I don't want it all because I don't want it to accidentally stick on a part of the furniture that I don't want it off. That would be a nightmare. But this is going to be a nightmare too. <laughs> this to myself. Are you guys asking yourself the same question? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, me too. So this is about where I want it. So here we go. Just going for it. Sorry if you can't see. My head is in the way, but there's really not a lot I can do. Taking a very fine red pad and I'm just going to go over everything. All the edges. Not only is it gonna get any bubbles out that it but it's gonna distress it a little because of the raised areas. I'm sure you've picked up by now. <laughs> That's the look that I'm going for. I'm gonna be sealing all of this in with Dixie Bell clear coat in satin yeah I've done everything I need to do I'm I was trying to think do I, is there anything else I need to do before I seal it all in no okay so here we go hold on Nelly have gold and apricot, gold gilding wax and chameleon wax in apricot. So it's just a little shimmer shimmer. I'm just going to take my little artist brush and I don't know, go where the wind takes me. <laughs> and I 
I'm not doing it perfectly and you don't have to seal the wax in because it's gilling wax. So it seals itself once it's dry. Brilliant. This piece, it was a collaboration with Amy. She is a fabulous human and an amazing artist. And there was no pressure from anyone, not Dixie Belle, not Amy. All the pressure was from me. <laughs> Concerned that I'll stuff it right up. But it was so much fun and I was so excited to finally get to do a collaboration with you, Amy. Thank you very much for asking me. We have known each other for about a year, connected through Rochelle's Facebook page over on Monolane Furniture. And I am so grateful. She I scoured the internet for inspiration. I finally came across some inspiration from the Purple Posy. She has a YouTube page and a website. She used the same blue and she did grunge and um, a, like a boho look. I love this grunge boho look. It's not for everyone. It is not refined and I know I do a lot of refined pieces, but hey, sometimes you have to branch out and do something that you love to do. Try something new. These colors were most definitely new to me. I do a lot more muted light colors, blacks, you know, all those sorts of things. And it's okay to branch out. Again, this look is not going to be for everyone. If I could just ask, I know I don't have to ask my core group of people. You understand you guys are supportive and lovely individuals. And even when pieces may not be your taste, you are very kind and I appreciate that. So if we could just keep the comments respectful, that would be great. You know, my mum always said, if you can't say something nice, maybe you shouldn't say anything at all. I'm sure lots of mums have said that. <laughs> Thank you so much again, Amy and Dixie Belle, for allowing me to spread my wings to uh, try something new. I in thoroughly enjoyed it, even though I was stressed all the way through. I love how this piece turned out. I love the scattered look, like it's really lived in. I hope you guys enjoyed this piece and I will see you on next week's piece. Bye guys. <laughs>